Hi all. Let's create a blend tree from our jump state. Um, so here I am in the jump state. Um, I'm going to right click it and I'm going to create a new blend tree state. And the minute I do that I can now double click on um, my jump state and I'm, I'm, I've moved into my blend tree and I can go back by clicking on the base layer. So that's how I move forward and I move back. So the blend tree blends together uh, multiple animations depending on some variable. The variable I'm going to use for the jump is vertical speed. So currently we have a trigger called jump which I'm going to get, get rid of and I am going to replace it with a vertical speed. So I will uh, I'll re actually uh, let me see I'll rename it. No sorry I won't I will I'll rename no I won't rename it. I will delete it. I will delete this, uh, delete that. It says it's being used by uh, the jump state. To in, it's being used by two transitions to jump. Okay, and I am going to add a new float, and I'm going to call it V speed. Uh, S P E E D V speed for vertical speed. I'll also rename my normal speed to H speed for horizontal speed. So we'll call this H speed just to keep things tidy. So there's the vertical speed. Um, I used to transition from idle to jump when uh, jump was triggered. Of course that parameter does not exist anymore so I'm just going to check uh, make it v-speed and when v-speed is greater than zero. Uh, and I used to move back um, when you're ground to true. That's still the same. And likewise here I used to go from run to jump and I'm going to go from, actually sorry, I'm going to delete these. I'm going to delete these completely because I'm going to use the V C the 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 V speed. So I'll delete it from this transition, run to jump, and I'll also delete it from this transition, uh, idle to jump. So I, I'm going to get rid of this completely, these transitions. So now I'll only be transitioning when ground is false because I I'll be using the V speed to blend rather than uh, as a condition uh, on which to um to try as 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 opposed to a parameter on which to to transition on. So this should work for me. So in I go to my jump, and now I need a bunch of um, animations to blend on. And I'm going to be blending on, uh, I'm going to be blending on V-Speed. This is going to be it. So I need to create a, a bunch of animations. So let's, let's start with that. So um, I click on my uh, adventurer. I'll go back to the scene. Here's my adventurer. He's currently got a run, idle, death, and damage uh, animation. The, the jump animation is now no longer available because I've, I've, I've turned it into a blend tree. Uh, I'm going to create um, a new animation. And I'm sto storing them all in anims, adventurer. The jump is there. This dual jump animation is still there, but it's just not available because I've, I've uh, changed the state to blend tree state. And I'll call it a... I don't know. We call it jump zero one. Or no, jump hyphen one. And in jump hyphen one, I am going to take my first, my first jump sprite. And my first jump sprite is sprite fifty one. So in here, I go to my sprites. I go to fifty one down here, and I'll drag it over. And there is my. Uh, my first jump sprite. I'm now going to create a new, another new clip. We'll call it jump two, and that's going to be 52. I'm going to create another one. We'll call it jump three. And that's going to be sprite 53. So my animations are very simple, as in as much in as much as they only have one frame per animation. Create another one. Jump four, and I'll drag in sprite 54. And that's one, two, three, four, five. Jump five is adventure 55, and finally. Finally, create one more, and it is jump six, and that is sprite fifty six, and that is it. That's 
that's jump six uh, let me show you them all this is jump one there we go that's jump one I'm just about to jump this is oh sorry uh, this is jump this is jump one this is jump two he just sort of crouches down so jump one is very much like an idle uh, pose jump two is just crouching down jump three he is lifting up jump four he's gone that bit higher jump five he's sort of on his way down and jump six he sort of hit the ground again and again you can see these uh, maybe a little bit clearer if you open up the sprite sheet I'll zoom in here nice tight that's jump one jump two is he's just sort of crouching down a bit jump three jump four that's it he's just about to heat reach the height jump at the, the top of his jump Jim jumps uh, five he's coming out of it and then jump six he sort of landed on the ground or he's falling down uh, again so that's these are the ones we're gonna we're gonna use uh, okay so I've, I've created my five animations I'm going to go to my animator I'm going to go to my blend tree and now I'm going to add some motions I'm going to add a new uh, motion I'm going to need six of them so I'll do it straight away one two three four five six because we're going to blend six animations I'm going to go to my adventure uh, folder in the anims folder and here are my jump animations that I've just created I am going to put in jump one jump two jump three jump four jump five and jump six Unity is automatically setting thresholds for these, so it's sort of dividing them out evenly, and we get this nice even transition. So if we um, look at this little guy down here, we should be able to see it. Uh, can I lift this up? I cannot. I can't. So there's there's my little guy down here. Yeah, and you see there it goes from zero. Oh, let me grab this. There you go, see it? So he goes from zero, he transitions to the next one there. He's crouching down, so that's him idling. He's about to crouch down to start his jump. Up he goes to the first pose. Let me do this again. Down. Up he goes to first pose, second pose, and down. It looks like this one is wrong. It looks like jump three is wrong. Jump two. And jump three look the same. Yeah, they do. So it looks like I've created the animation wrong, so that's okay. I can go to my animation window, I can go to my adventurer, I can it looks like jump three is wrong. Go to jump three, go to my sprites, jump three should be uh, if they start at fifty one, should be fifty four I think. Uh so fifty one was the first one, 52 was the second one, 53 was the third one, and 54. So that's one, two, three. So this should be jump three. So, oh, let me actually, let me just delete this frame first before I add in a new one. Delete that frame and add in 53. Okay, let me just check these again. I must have added in the wrong one. So this is jump one. Let's play it. Jump one is like idle. Jump two. He is crouching down. Jump three. Yeah, he's starting to lift up. Jump four. Yeah. Jump five. We should see the leg moving to the other side. We do. And jump six. He's sort of coming down. Okay, um, so I had just dragged in the wrong one. So now if I come back here to my blend tree, grab this timeline, let's just zoom in here a little bit. 
keep an eye on my my dude down here and if i grab this here and blend it through that's this is the this here this slope here represents the first frame this is the second frame and they're starting to blend at this point yeah so look here we should see a transition from one to the there we go he's crouching down he's starting to lift up just above, above the top height coming to the just over the top height coming down and there you go he's down uh, so that's that's what my blend tree currently looks like um, it's starting um, the it's going to be based on the vertical speed so the vertical speed is actually going to start um, at something like you know I don't know we'll give it a we'll give it a force and it, it, um, we'll, we'll apply a force to this character and the velocity of the character will be increased pretty much instantly so the force the vertical speed the v speed uh, the ver vertical speed v speed uh, doesn't go from zero to one um, in fact sorry I've just changed this by accident in fact the vertical speed will go from something like you know 10 to minus 10 so uh, suddenly there'll be a force applied suddenly the character's velocity will be like 10 and then it'll start decreasing when it reaches the top point it'll be zero and then it'll start increasing in, in the negative again this number here is has to be the negative number uh, zero or, or, or lower this has to be the lower of the two of the two numbers and this is be the higher so I'm going to make this one um, minus 10 we'll say and I can make this one 10 so this is essentially saying my my vertical speed is going to go from minus 10 to 10 now I have it the way I dragged it in I have it backwards because minus 10 uh, if you again watching my character here when you when I'm going from minus 10 all the way up this should be the midpoint and at the just about is the midpoint yeah look he just he, he moves just there he goes from the legs move so that's him at the midpoint and he comes back down however it should be the other way around he it, it it goes from 10 to minus 10 so this should be the starting frame and going that way so I just need to move these around so that should be one that should be two that should be three that should be four and that should be five so here we go he's at minus 10 and at minus 10 he's starting on the ground then he goes up he's cut and he's coming back down and he's down there you go and there is this transition from one to the other yeah he's going from one to the other just there so one two three four five um, and then we can if we want to if we want to change these numbers we can so we I reckon that it's around this point is the transition he should be transitioning ar around here so at this point we should be seeing the transition um, so this velocity should be about zero at this point yeah so we could try and change it here to, to, to zero at this point we should we should be seeing the we should be seeing the transition so we can start moving this graph around and altering altering these numbers and the minute you do these are no no longer automatically uh, selected so now we can go in here and modify the exact velocities we want to be transitioning from one state to the other we're not going to do that just yet I'm going to I'm going to leave it like this so it's very uniform at the moment it just goes up and it goes down and it's um, and what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to write code and debug out the, the character's velocity when we do a jump and then based on that we can set these values so I'll do that uh, at a later stage but there you go that's our, our blend tree now we just need to sort of um, fine-tune the transitions from one animation to another so let's test test it and see uh, what we have at the moment so hit play um, and I'll go to there you go you can see the, the sort of the game playing down here and the character seems to be stuck in a jump state um, let's put click on grounded there you go the character is grounded and it's idling let's give it damage triggers yeah the damage happened let me just make this a little bit bigger so you can see it uh, there we go um, let's increase the horizontal speed to maybe one lovely it's starting to run bring it back to zero 
it's idling now if I hit um, if I take it off ground so let's pretend the force is going to be applied to the character vertical force it goes we can see if I go into my base layer we can see it's gone into the jump state which of course is a blend tree now it's gone into the jump blend tree and if I double click on here we're in the blend tree and you can see it's just here it's sort of somewhere blending between three and four it's at the top and that's because VC speed is zero of course we're going to have to programmatically change that so when we go in V speed will be initially 10 and it'll go it'll start decreasing to zero at which point then it'll start falling and it'll come back down to uh, he'll come back to down to land so it'll go up and back down so that will all happen programmatically we will we'll link that in programmatically so it all seems to be uh, working pretty well for us